<laughs> We've got the cheapskate New Hampshire style trail feature in lieu of a bridge. Now, I think I'm on the base circuit trail. We're on something that indicates we should go that way. Maybe it's time to sit down and pour over whatever gibberish. One might find in the Holy Writ. Oh, there's a power line. Let's investigate. That's surely an orientation point. Al loves power lines. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> As so often happens with one of these runs, somehow if you are relatively diligent in pouring over all the information, at some point or another, a particular part of it that'll be half-assed will actually be right and useful. And so it is with the Holy Writ. He answered this question. In a tiny three-word sentence, it does mention passing under power lines. After crossing Dow Brook, that little wet thing that we stepped across on the New Hampshire-style punchins, so yeah, and we're kind of on the edge of Willowbrook. We've been in Ipswich for a while. And, well, there's the proper blaze. We'll have blaze hipness quarrels, methinks, but they'll be surmounted. So this tells me that I'll probably be delighted to have figured this mess out. It's far more challenging than I thought. But it just means instead of my overly ambitious idiot plan to also do a piece of Willow Brook, I can now return reasonably soon and handle Willowbrook more thoroughly on its own. Yeah. There, a bit of evangelizing. It's, it's hilarious, the constituents for this. I just found my first constituent after wandering through all this all day and I applauded her courage for not running screeching when she saw the visage of this old goon stumble out of the trail holding a video camera. <coughs> but uh, yeah, I kind of explained the place and its deal and suggested some websites and the purpose of trail videos. And among the younger crowd, the whole concept is generally liked because they don't really want to have to read crap or look at maps anyway. Videos are much cooler. So they are probably have a fan. <coughs> and I should be hitting Linebrook Road before too long. Then it's the long, miserable foot slog to downtown Ipswich, but what the hell, it's nice up here, so I don't care.
lots of killer ground cover, the usual winter green and such suspects. <coughs> <coughs> This is like a paradise for trail runners. Good Lord, I can see it being pretty popular here. And <coughs> one of my long-standing subscription people at YouTube is from these parts and is a trail runner. Okay, clear blaze where you need it. Life is good. We take a turn here. Oop, get over this thing. Looks like it's a popular antler rub. All that bark shredding. People are too lazy for that shit. That's deer. Wee. Yeah, we must be going forward. Otherwise, I don't see why they'd be routing us over a blowdown. And yeah, that was another encounter with a young person who is an avid outdoors kind of person from Alaska, she said. Probably stop me if I act it up, <laughs> it should be fine. But uh, yeah, another constituent who has no clue this thing is here or that it exists in the form that it does. And yet there's so many ways of making it known. That's one of the hilarious things I've noticed is that all these various nature nonprofits have fairly poor understanding of web stuff. They have their big American Legacy websites and they're all over Facebook because of course you should be not realizing that it has a shelf life and you got to be adaptable. It's probably cyber fatigue. They've been running in circles trying to adapt forever and they're just sick of it. It is in their main mission, but it does have a role. People increasingly are relying on smartphones and tablet computers to find stuff. And if you don't work with that system, you're gonna have Increasing isolation problems. Ooh. Do I see a roof line? Sure. I think I do. Ooh yeah, there's another roof line. We must be getting close to Lime Brook Road. Look it up once. Look it up again. So we don't have a lot of color yet. A lot of what I did earlier, my getting lost today was in two phases. First I got lost in rally in general and was assisted by a thoughtful cop who was only too happy to be rid of me. 
and having gotten to the actual site, this thing, then we got to get lost in whole new interesting ways. Now I'm found. I was blind, but now I see. Ooh. Oh yay, <laughs> I was on the bay suck it all along. <laughs> and that way goes all the way to Plum Island, a mere town away. No, we have the old and the new blaze types, a paint swatch that's fading, and the plastic thing or metal thing with nails. So a turn is indicated, that's what the offset means. We're in the home stretch. Up that slope or McMansions and shit. A lot of this area used to be riding ground. The great proto oligarch Bradley Palmer, who was the first business attorney, and cobbled together a complicated set of mergers to make United Fruit into the early century powerhouse it was.